Hey guys, John Richardson here with Your Reality Recaps. Excited to bring you Evicted House Guests, Season 3 of Big Brother Canada interviews all season long. If you have questions for us, we do our show 3 o'clock Eastern every Friday where we recap the entire week, all three episodes of Big Brother Canada 3. And we want to hear from you. So tweet us your questions, hashtag it YRRLive, let us know if you have any questions for the house guests, and they will be featured on our exit interviews. All right, since you're here, subscribe to our channel. Get all of our updates. All right, with that said, check out our interviews. Neha! Hey! I was crying last night. I know, it was the worst ever. You are one of my faves, and we love you here at Your Reality Recaps. Yeah! Got a few questions for you. The first question I have is, do you think um, you had, if you had been able to sway Sarah into keeping Cindy, you would have been safe this week? I 100% believe that. I tried, honestly, I don't know how much you guys saw, but dude, I, like, I tried so hard to, to keep Cindy. Like, I knew for a fact that me keeping Cindy was so beneficial to me because one, she'd be a bigger target than me, or she would be a target just as much as I am. Two... She was gunning for Greg. Three, like she was out there wild. Four, I was in her ear. Like she would have done whatever I said. Like Cindy's my girl, and and I had her. I had her in my pocket, and um, it would have been so beneficial to me. And I honestly, I was working it. I was almost there. I had Zach. Zach agreed with me 100%. He's like Neha. He's like, if you think that this is right for us to do, he's like, do it. Sarah was just too scared, and she started saying to me, Neha, they're going to target you if you push for it further. What I needed to happen was I needed someone else to kind of push for it and me take the back back end of it. You know what I mean? Like, I couldn't be the, the obvious one just because of that whole bathroom scene, and I was already seen as uh, being aligned with her, so I had to kind of press press back a bit from her. Uh, there's many instances where, um, where, like, you know, I wanted to interact with Cindy a little more, and I just wasn't able to based on the fact that it would increase the size of my target. Um, had I known that the size of my target could not get any bigger, I would have done a lot different. But at, in that moment, um, I felt that my target would just get bigger and bigger, um, not knowing that it was, it was already a massive target. Absolutely, because you're just pretty and smart. So, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Question, <laughs> question two. If it had not been an instant eviction, do you think you had actually convinced Kevin to keep you safe? Um, who? Okay, I, I would like to believe so. Um, everything, like, honestly, if, thinking logically, if I were Kevin and someone came to me with this scenario um, and, and someone told me what was going on, the way it was going on and the way I presented it to him, and also if I, if I presented him that information alongside his best friend, who is Johnny. Like Johnny was had my back, and Johnny was with me, and Johnny believed what I was saying, and Johnny believed what I was, um, and Johnny believed that everything that I was saying was legit. He truly felt that way too, and we presented that information to Kevin together. And then on top of that, I had Sarah with me, and I know that Kevin likes Sarah, and Brittany was uh, um, name was in there, and I know Kevin likes Brittany. And then on top of that, we added in JP and Zach. Uh, you know. I think it was a flawless plan. I think that um, it would have gotten us a little further in the game, a lot further in the game, and it would have definitely changed the game up big time. Um, if that instant eviction didn't happen, I, I I do feel that he might have gone through with it. But again, Kevin's a wild card, and I, I could never read the kid properly. Um, he always seemed as if he wasn't in the game. There's something off about him. I honestly still don't know what it is. But I think that I presented to him something that was um, epic it would have been a golden opportunity for us in the game. It would have changed the game up completely. And honestly, I, I can't even believe I'm sitting here right now talking to you. Like the plans that I had, like that was just the, the starting phase of it. Um, I had already known who I thought that he should put on the block and that would have been epic. You know, it, it would have just like, uh, it would have been unreal. And um, I, you know, I, I, I thought I did a very good job of convincing him because I had Sarah convinced. I had Johnny convinced. I had, Zach and JP, I, I thought I did, and they seemed to be on board because uh, Zach and I talked throughout the weeks, and we were on board that we have to get um, Greg out of the house, and we had discussed that ha that we had to do it or I had to do it because Zach's already really, really close to uh, Greg, so it couldn't be that obvious, and then this, this scenario, it just worked so perfectly, and I, and I really thought I sold it to him, so... 
but it doesn't even matter because I got screwed, you know? So that's that. Yeah. I'm, we're still recovering over here too, that you're sitting there. Okay, good. I know. Yes. We're all just, yeah. All right. Last question. This is just game. Neha. Of, of the people left in the house, whom do you think has the best chance of winning? Just game. Zach. 100% Zach? 100%. He is in the best position. Every single person in the house loves him. Girls love him. Guys love him. Girls want to be with him. Guys want to be him. He is, and on, on top of that, like, he's a great person. Like, I connected with him on a personal level. And honestly, like, he's a really, really good person, I think. And I think that will take you far in life and, it's, and also in this game. And, uh, like, just looking at who's left, like, me being inside that house, if I had to right now pick who I would want to give the money to, um, even going through what I went through, even him evicting me, him being my buddy and evicting me, ripping my heart out in front of my face and handing it to me, I would still, he would still be my top three to give the money to. Um, and I'm not an emotional player by any means. I'm looking at pure game and he's playing a damn good game. So, uh, I honestly think that, like, I would love for Sarah to win because she's my girl, but he's, uh, like, he's, just as much as she's my girl, I think he's my boy. Like, he, he's, he's playing a damn good game. So, um, I think he's gonna, if I don't get back in the house, I think he's gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> Neha, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us here at Your Reality Recaps. We appreciate it. Thank you.